My Amazon FBA account was hacked and I lost control of it for two weeks. I want to tell you what happened so you can prevent this from happening to you as well as how I fixed it and it was a pain to get control of my account back. Before I get into the story on how my account was hacked, here are some quick cliff notes. Once you lose control of your account, it's a pain to try to get Amazon on the phone. I did find a workaround where you can still call Amazon even if you can't log into your account. I'll, I'll share that later. Another quick note, make sure you have a second account that has access to your Amazon account. I was lucky and I did have this uh, and that saved me. So I'll talk about how to do this later in the video, but this is a really important thing. And the last thing I wanna mention is if you do get someone on the phone or if you can get a hold of someone via email, ask to be transferred to the VCAC team or ask for your case to be transferred to that. I found out my account was hacked recently while I was on vacation with my girlfriend in New Orleans. I got a text on my phone that said, here is your you know, two-step authentication code. And I thought that's kind of weird because I didn't request it, but you know, I have virtual assistants, I have people that, that work for me and they sometimes log in. Uh, but it, it was a little bit strange, but I kind of ignored it for the rest of my trip. And then when I got back home in the airport, I started to get a little bit worried. So I went to log on to my Amazon account and I couldn't, it said wrong password. I'm like, oh, that's really weird. Maybe I mistyped it, I tried again and again and still the same thing. I'm like, okay, well that's really weird, but not that big of a deal. I'll just reset the password. So I went to reset the password and again, it told me the wrong password, even though I had just reset it. It wasn't until later that I realized my account was locked, that I was locked out of my account. It was at this point, I started to freak out a little bit. So I logged on to my email to see what is going on, see if Amazon sent me any notices. And there was one email that stood out and really freaked me out. It said, your bank account information has been changed. Well, now I know that I didn't change my bank account information. I know that nobody that worked for me would have done something like that. So I really started to freak out and realize that my account had been hacked, that there was something majorly wrong. I tried to call Amazon, but if you've tried to call Amazon recently to get seller support, you know that the customer support is no longer transferring you. In the, in the past, you could call customer support and say, hey, can you transfer me to seller support? And they told me the only way that I can get seller support is to go in, log into my account, and contact them through there. Well, that doesn't work when you can't log into your account. Now, I did find a workaround to this. Again, I'll, I'll talk about later in this video. But this was my frustration, was I'm locked out of my account, how do I get access? So let's talk about how did this happen? Now to this day, I'm still not 100% sure on how someone got access to my Amazon account. And something I haven't mentioned yet, what's worse, they didn't just get access to my Amazon account, they got access to my PayPal account. All three of them, I have three different businesses, they got access to all three of them. They got access to all my emails. They got access to my credit cards. This hacker got access to pretty much all of my accounts. Now, again, I'm not 100% sure on how they did this with me. There's a few possibilities. One is uh, I was sent a phishing email. I don't think this is what happened, but this is a common tactic where someone will send you an email and fake like there's some kind of company and then steal your, your password because they'll send you like a page where you log in and steal your password there. I don't know if that's what happened. I recently was on a trip to the Philippines and there's a chance that I logged into some Wi-Fi network and typed in my password there and someone stole it. I, to be honest with you, I got really paranoid and at one point I even thought, well maybe at the airport someone was looking over my shoulder as I was typing in the password. Now I do use LastPass and there's a chance that someone got my LastPass password and from there was able to get all my passwords because the way LastPass works is it stores all your passwords for you. So that's another possibility. The truth is I think the most likely thing that happened to me is before I left for my trip to the Philippines to meet my virtual assistant back in March, I downloaded uh, some software, some PDF editor software. Turns out there was a bunch of viruses on that. I completely had to reformat my computer. But while those viruses were on my computer, there's a chance that someone stole my LastPass password and then stole all my other stuff. But honestly, how they got my password doesn't matter because even if someone gets your Amazon password, they shouldn't be able to get access to your account if you follow the steps I'm gonna say. So, Obviously, don't respond to phishing emails, don't log into unsecured Wi-Fi networks and type your password in, and don't 
download viruses to your computer. That stuff's all obvious, but there's still some ways that you can prevent this from happening to you. So let me talk about one of the first things. And the one thing that saved me is that I had my account um, to Amazon, I had my access, but I also had a secondary account that my virtual assistant used to log into my Amazon account and do certain tasks. And that account has limited access. It cannot change my bank account information. It can't change you know, credit card stuff or tax ID, any, any of that kind of information. But what it allowed me to do is, while I was locked out of my account, it allowed me to send in more inventory. Because one thing I didn't mention is I was about to run out of inventory. So that's the first tip I have for you is create a secondary account that has access to your seller account so that even if one gets compromised, the other one can still have a way of logging in and, and checking all your different sales statistics and sending in more inventory. The second thing I wanna tell you is make sure that you do two-step authentication, not just for your seller's account, they're requiring that now, uh, make sure you do it for your email as well. And for those of you that don't know, two-step authentication is where you not only need to know your password, but you'll get a text message on your phone or you can use an authenticator app or things like that. So it, it's two steps of authentication before you're allowed to log on. So let me get back to my story because it's not done yet. Uh, and I think this is important just in case anything like this ever happens to you. So the trick I used to be able to actually call Amazon is I called the Amazon Associates program. They would say dial one for Amazon Associates, dial two for everything else. When I, I'd click two and then I'd say in there Amazon seller support. And I'd say about 50% of the time it would transfer me to Amazon seller support. The other 50% of the time it would say, sorry, we're not allowed to transfer you anymore. So this was a hack, a workaround that I found. But the work wasn't done yet. If you've ever talked to Amazon seller support or Amazon support in general, it's terrible. I've probably called in, in the last two weeks, I've probably called in around 15 to 20 times. And I'd call into Amazon seller support and they'd transfer me and they'd say, sorry, it's not a problem with your seller account, it's a problem with your customer account. I talked to customer support and they say, no, it's a problem with your seller's account. At one point I had a seller representative transfer me to a customer representative and that customer representative said, no, you gotta go back to seller, but I'm not allowed to transfer you anymore because of new rules. It was a mess. It wasn't until I got one guy that said, oh, I see what the issue is. I'm gonna connect you with the VCAC team. Ultimately, after two weeks of not having access to my account, that's what got it fixed for me was this one guy transferring my case to the VC, AC team, whatever that stands for. I've made a ton of mistakes selling on Amazon and this is definitely one of the bigger ones, but it's probably not the biggest. If you wanna see the biggest mistake I've made selling on Amazon, check out this video down below. In it, I also have my first year income report where I share what my product is and exactly how much money I made selling on Amazon. And things will go wrong in entrepreneurship, but the most important thing I tried to remember and I have to tell you is remember to enjoy the journey.